Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so you guys know I like trying out uh, different uh, mobile service providers just to kind of see how the experience would be. Um, and so I'm going to give you guys my thoughts with Unreal Mobile, but not just Unreal Mobile by itself, but its GSM platform versus its CDMA platform, as I have both these devices activated on Unreal Mobile. Uh, this is my LG X Power that was on Boost Mobile, so... Unreal Mobile does accept uh, Boost Mobile phones as long as the Boost Mobile phones meet the criteria for uh, being unlocked, per se. Um, you can activate a older Boost Mobile phone on Unreal Mobile, which is kind of sad. Cause, uh, yeah. But anyways, um, the differences between the two, uh, whether you're opting for GSM, which runs on the AT&T network, or if you're opting for the CDMA, which runs on Sprint's network, um, differences and whatnot in speed and everything like that as far as network speed um, will be compared um, and yeah just the, the overall so uh, I am indoor so don't be expecting 100 megabits per second download because I am indoors so that does kind of play an effect on the signal but just to kind of show you guys um, what I'm getting as far as network coverage with Unreal Mobile um, the differences between the two now just kind of jump right in one of the major differences you will notice between GSM and CDMA is not the network, just per, you know, just just up front, but the way that that the uh, the service interacts with the device. So I have my next bit Robin here, which is un unlocked GSM device, and I do have the Unreal Mobile app. And one of the saddest things about the GSM version is the fact that you have to use their native application. Um, so uh, basically. You know, you have all your information there, phone number, uh, you know, people will probably end up pranking me, whatever. Um, so, you know, it tells me, like, how much time I have, you know, on my plan, how much data I have. And it does have data rollover, so if you don't use all your data, it will roll over to your next month. Um, the plans, if you want to know the plans, just go check out my video about Unreal Mobile. I talk about the plans and pricing there. But um, one, one of the things that's really sad about it is, is that um, if I wanted to dial... I have to use the Unreal Mobile app. I mean, I could use my native dialer, but it will just automatically launch the uh, the Unreal dialer. Now, for SMS, my stock SMS does not work. I have to use this um, this messaging uh, section of the application. So everything is pretty much like enrooted into the Unreal Mobile app. Um, that is not the case for the CDMA version. Um, I do have the Unreal Mobile app just to kind of know how much usage I have, but the stock messaging app and the stock phone app is what works with the service. So, um, technically here, if I was to really say anything else, I would definitely say that um, the CDMA version kind of really like allows you to have like that true phone experience, whereas the GSM version relies on their app. And people want to know why did they do this. Obviously, um, you know, uh, Freedom Pop is the same way. Freedom Pop CDMA, you can use a stock, the stock, the native messenger app and the phone. And on Freedom Pop GSM, you have to use the Freedom Pop applications. And Unreal Mobile and Freedom Pop are the same company. So um, that's basically what makes it function that way. Uh, let me see. I'm going to download the uh, what I use to test the network speeds. So... Um, as far as call quality, uh, they're pretty much both on par. Um, let's see. So what I use is I use Open Signal to kind of test my speeds um, with networks. So let me just download that app right there, and I'm gonna do the same on the Robin. But yeah, um, audio quality is uh, is pretty much the same. Uh, I don't really see too much of a huge difference between them, and um, Okay, so we'll, we'll wait for that to completely install. Okay, so we both, uh, both of them are on their LTE right now. We're going to go ahead and test their speeds. So we're going to see, like, how the speeds do. Remember, the GSM uses AT&T's network. The right side uses Sprint's. So you guys can see 7 megabits per second on the CDMA side, about um, 15 megabits per second, roughly 14 on GSM. So, um, not a real huge significant difference. Um, they're not pushing over 30 megabits per second like my Boost Mobile phone does, which is kind of crazy. Um, uh, let's test again one more time. 
and we soon will be off to the races. 10 megabits. Well, so the CDMA side is kind of jumping up a little bit. Um, still not going over 20, not getting close to 30. So I don't know what's happening there. Um, there's the AT&T one going 5 megabits. That's download. Okay, this is already on the upload speeds. This is download speeds. So 10 up, 4 down on the CDMA side. And we're not even pushing over 1 megabit on the GSM side. So um, those are the network tests for those out there who really want to know. 7 up and then 742 kilobits down. That's not very well. That's not very good. And this is only in my area um, of Arizona. So don't expect these speeds to be the same in your area. They may differ. They may be better for GSM. They may be better for CDMA. But this is what I'm getting. But overall, you guys are kind of seeing that they're not... As far as this in general, they're not too far off from each other as far as network speed um, connections. And obviously, they're going to be throttled down because these are MVNOs piggybacking off AT&T and Sprint. So, of course, they're not going to gain, like, you know, the, the highest amount. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just pretty much it as far as like, the differences in data connectivity. Um, other than that, I mean, you pretty much get the same functionalities out of your phones. You can still download things from the Play Store. You can still watch videos and all that other stuff. You can still do that with it. Um, and again, if you guys want to know plan-wise, like the prices of the plans, check out my other video about Unreal Mobile. The plans do not differ from GSM to CDMA, so they're going to be about the same. Um, it's just pretty much what you prefer. If you prefer the GSM network with AT&T coverage, then yeah, you're going to go GSM. If you guys have good sprint service in your area, then you might want to go CDMA. But other than that... The only real difference is, is how the service interacts with the device. It seems more native with CDMA because you do have the option. You can use your stock dialer and your and Android messages as your default messaging app. And with the GSM version, Unreal Mobile app has to have permissions to do everything. You can use the native dialer to make a phone call, but it's just going to auto-pop trigger the dialer from... Unreal Mobile. If you try to use the Android messages, it will not work. You can send, send, send as many messages as you want. It will not work. You have to do it through the Unreal Mobile application, which is kind of a bummer for people. People don't like being forced to use a particular thing. We love options. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. My thoughts on Unreal Mobile. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section of the video. Which side would you rather go with? Would you rather go with GSM or CDMA? Uh, leave that in the comment section of this video because I'm very curious to know what you guys think. Um, drop a like if you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll talk to you all in the next one. Aloha.